Christmas Miracle for Daisy is a pretty nice film. This was released in 2021, directed by Mike Roll and written by J.B. White. And it stars Jill Wagner as Whitney and Nick Bateman as Connor. We also have Ruby Tupper as the titular Daisy. And Whitney is an interior designer and she's been given this job to design or do the decor for somebody's home. And it turns out that that somebody is Connor an old flame and she's not necessarily enthusiastic about doing the job and she was actually going to give it to her business partner but unfortunately her business partner becomes unwell and Whitney basically has no choice but to reconnect with her old flame and the film is all about her well reconnecting with him and bonding with Daisy and realizing that actually she might still have feelings for him and they might work as a couple and there we have our Christmas rom-com it's pleasant enough it's not very unique but that's absolutely fine a lot of Christmas rom-coms have a very similar concept of people connecting or reconnecting after a period of years and realizing that actually their heart might still be in that relationship I would have liked to have seen more of the interior design aspect I don't feel like we got to see enough of that. One could argue that if we saw too much of that, it would detract from the romance aspect, which I understand. But I think just a little bit more of it would have been quite appealing. We get a decent amount of of Christmas in this. The characters are all really likeable. It's It's a very nice film, and I think that's the best way to describe it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing that I didn't enjoy. There's nothing about the characters that I didn't like. Nobody overreacted at any point. Everything flows really well. It may not be unique. It may not be the most memorable film. I think it's quite similar in part to a lot of other films. There's nothing about it that particularly stands out among other films. Again, that's often the case with Christmas rom-coms. Sometimes one one film will stand out above the others because of either a character or something in the narrative. A lot of others just blend in, and, and this is one of those. But that's absolutely fine. It's a very pleasant, very comfortable and inviting viewing experience. It's easy to get behind the narrative, get behind the characters, have a lot of fun with it, and emotionally connect with the characters along the way. I really enjoyed it, and if you're looking for a a pretty safe Christmas rom-com that doesn't cause too many extreme emotions, but at the same time, it doesn't have anything wrong with it, then A Christmas Miracle for Daisy is a pretty nice film to go with.